will likely bring dozens of new jobs to the capital region. Now, Big Board Sports with Ashley Miller. Good evening, everyone. Breaking news tonight. The NFL has announced it will not resume the Bills-Bengals game that was suspended Monday night after Buffalo safety DeMar Hamlin went into cardiac arrest on the field. Instead, it's canceled, which won't affect who makes the playoffs and who doesn't make the playoffs, but it could mean the AFC championship game is played at a neutral site. That will happen if the two teams in the game played an unequal number of games and both could have been the one seed and hosted the AFC championship had all the AFC teams played the 17 game schedule a little bit confusing but the good news is the news from the Hamlin camp is positive today doctors say DeMar is awake and responsive able to move his hands and feet he can't speak yet but they say he was able to communicate through writing doctors say the 24 year old has shown substantial improvement but also say that Hamlin is still critically ill and significant progress is still needed we're hearing from the bills for the first time publicly today and they're quick to admit they're still shaken but optimistic and the positive news helps the team feel a little bit better about taking the field on Sunday against the Patriots. His dad said the first thing that he's going to ask when he wakes up is who won the game. <laughs> and sure enough, that's what he did, man. And uh, as teammates, you, you love hearing that response that the first thing on his mind wasn't, you know, poor me. It was, how are my teammates doing? Did we win this game? And that's powerful in itself. Knowing our fan base and, and, and the connection that we have and that they have with us, um, A, I think it's going to be very emotional for everyone in the stadium. Um, and B, I think it's going to be unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, and we're going to have to balance some of that, you know, in order to perform the way we need to perform. The U Albany men's basketball team is in search of its first conference win of the season. The Great Danes are on the road at UMBC tonight, facing former Great Dane Jarvis Doles and Great Barrington native Dion Brown. Doles has 11 points against his former team. He knocks down the mid-range jumper to give the Retrievers a double-digit lead midway through the first half. Aaron Reddish has a nice game off the bench. He has 14 points on four of six shooting from behind the arc. U Albany is down by eight at the break. The Great Danes trail by as many as 13 in the second half before they start chipping away. Gerald Drumgoul Jr. has a game high 26 points. The corner three makes it a four point game. A few minutes later, Jonathan Beagle gets a good look inside and the Hudson Falls native scores underneath on the way to another double digit performance with 13 points and nine rebounds. UMBC struggles from three tonight, but they have four straight possessions where they get easy layups inside and that halts you Albany's run. Jacob Bunyasith has 21. He dishes to Matteo Piccarelli there. U Albany falls to 0-2 in America East play 92-83. Our Roger Wyland has more from Baltimore. Ashley, thank you. U Albany shoots 12, makes 12 threes tonight. They were 17 and 19 from a line, five and double figures, and Coach Killing still wasn't quite good enough to get out of here with a win. Yeah, you know, we 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 made some of our goals. Um, they're one of the best three-point you know jump shooting teams in the country. Um, we held them to five in the game, which was um, right now, but so 